Hey everyone, welcome to All You Can Do DIY. My name is AK and today I'm gonna show you how to make popcorn at home, which I think is delicious and much healthier than the stuff that you buy at the store. So I have a six quart pot and in it right now I have two ounces of a neutral oil. I use canola oil, you can use grapeseed oil, whatever oil you want, I prefer neutral flavored. Um, for other measurements, if you don't want a quarter cup, you can do two ounces or you can do about 56 grams of oil. Go ahead and put that in your pot on high heat. And then I'm gonna use one third cup popcorn seeds. And that is about two and five eighths ounces or it's about 73 grams of popcorn seeds. So you're just gonna kinda let it sit and hang out and get all hot. Once it starts to go, it's gonna go like bullets. So we're gonna wait, I'm gonna have the lid kind of on the side, ready to go and cover, sizzling. The anticipation, right? It's amazing. Anyway. Tonight is girls movie night. Pajamas, what goes best, popcorn, hence why we're doing this right now. So what I'm gonna do, you can feel like it's gonna start. I'm gonna have the lid kind of almost on. Okay, it's starting, you can hear it. There it goes, the popping. I want some steam to escape, but I have the bigger side pointed away from me, obviously for safety, because you're gonna get splatter with oil. And once it kind of starts, it just starts going. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like agitate it. I'm gonna put the lid back use the handle to kind of go back and forth so that the kernels are like evenly tossing in the oil and evenly having a time to touch the bottom so that they get so hot that they pop. In the pan. Let that steam kind of escape for a second. Go back to shaking. So you can kind of tell that the kernels are slowing down a bit. So it's almost going to be done. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Kind of wait for the last couple kernels to pop. Perfect. One more little shake. I think it's done. I'm going to take it off the heat. And now your seasoning. Go to town. It doesn't really matter. What I use is Himalayan pink salt. Uh, I think it has a great flavor. Otherwise, use table salt and season it to taste. Definitely try not to use anything with like really big coarse salt because it's just gonna fall to the bottom and you're not gonna taste it. You need something small so that it actually fits in the crevices of the popcorn and you can taste it. That's it, you're done. Super easy, super simple, and super healthy. Taste it like this. Don't add anything to it yet, like butter. It's gonna be all that you need, I promise. Just oil and just salt. There you go. Okay, everybody, this is round two of how to make popcorn at home. The reason I'm showing you pretty much identical ways is because you may not have a six quart pot at home, a big pot. And this is a smaller three quart part, but it is the exact same quantity and ratio of oil and popcorn. So it's the quarter cup of oil and the third cup of popcorn seeds just prior. Um, I like to usually make it in a big pot, but I've made it in a small pot as well. Uh, a lot of people in my family actually like to make it in a smaller pot. So it's just up to you. Again with this, I put it on high heat. A couple people use it on medium high heat. It will all start to pop. So just kind of figure out your rhythm of it. So again, the popcorn is starting to bubble. The oil is getting super, super hot. You can see it's kind of bubbling around the kernels. You know some action is happening. And safety first, putting the lid on tilted and the big side that's open is away from you to let the steam escape and also so that no oil splatters on you. So we're gonna kinda hang out. You're gonna see how quickly this happens. And there's a different little method on how to get rid of the popcorn. Cause obviously with the size I did before, it expanded in that big six quart pot, it's gonna overflow in this. And that's why you need to have a bowl on the side ready to go. So obviously as I'm talking, you can already hear the popcorn going. Same thing, 
shut the lid back on fully completely and shake. And again, this is just agitating the popcorn so that all the kernels are getting to the bottom where the heat is and through the oil evenly. What's really cool about this is that the clear lid lets me see the action. So it's rising. It's getting to the brim. So at this point, I'm gonna need to dump it into the bowl soon. Which I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna tilt, let it go in, put it back, let it pop. There's really not much action going in here for me, so I can take my Himalayan pink salt, which I love, season it to taste, shake it again. I can hear no more kernels popping, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. I'm going to then dump in beautiful done popcorn, and again, season to taste. I'm gonna do a couple sprinkles of the Himalayan pink salt. Bam, you got healthy, delicious popcorn in literally minutes, and it couldn't be easier. So I hope you enjoy the method on how to do this in either a six quart or a three quart pot. Thanks. Steamy it's up in here. Steamy. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's gonna taste so good with my prosciutto and olives. <laughs> okay. AK love. Right. Now I'm gonna go hot. <laughs> Ooh.